Josh, and this is My Favourite Dead Person, where we explore some incredible lives from throughout New Zealand's history. Did you know that women didn't used to be able to vote? Well, suffragist leader Kate Shepard changed all that. She helped gather thousands of signatures for the longest petition ever to Parliament, making New Zealand the first country in the world where women could vote. Kate Shepard did give women the right to vote in 1893. Women were expected to stay at home and do the housework and look after their husbands and have lots of children. They weren't allowed to vote. They weren't allowed to do a lot of things. And they're only expected to have lots of children and be a housewife. Do you like doing housework? Actually, yeah. You do? Yeah. What housework do you like doing? I just like cleaning up the kitchen and the living room. Any other rooms? Just those too rooms, hard. though. Yeah, too hard. The bathroom's a mess in my house. True. Somebody keeps leaving water on the floor. Do you guys know what voting is? Voting is when people get to elect a leader, and women weren't allowed to do that. But Kate argued. She got a woman to sign a petition, and she got 32,000 women to sign it. The petition was about 270 metres long and had up to 32,000 signatures on it. 270 metres long? Yeah, that's about nine blue whales, full-grown blue whales. Wow. Do you measure a lot of things in blue whales? Mm, some. So New Zealand was the first um, country in the world to have the rights for the women to vote. <laughs> Koto Katoa and welcome to the nation's capital on this lovely morning for today's main event, the unveiling of two competing petitions and it looks to be a real doozy of a matchup today here, Kent. Yeah, that's right, John. Good morning, everyone. And Wellington has really turned on the weather today. And you know what they say, you can't be Wellington. All Sorry to cut you off there, but I think everybody's already sick of that phrase, even though this is 1893. First up, the counter petition, presented by Henry Fish. And there he goes up the steps there. These are the signatures of the people that do not think the woman should have the right to vote. It's been backed by a pro-alcohol group, and they are worried that if women get the right to vote, they'll lose their right to have a beer. Oh, time for the unfurling. Oh, beautiful wrist action there. Just a lovely cascade. This man has clearly unfolded a piece of paper before. Well, Henry Fish does come with experience. We last saw him here presenting a petition to allow newborn babies to buy Monster Energy drinks. Now, the adjudicator is just checking the names and making sure they include addresses, but not phone numbers, as phones haven't been invented yet, Kent. It's 1893. Then why are we talking to these microphones, John? Oh, hold on. I'm just getting word from the adjudicator that apparently some of the names are fake. Well, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure there's nobody in the world named Rick O'Shea or Gymnasium or Maya Bumsaw. <laughs> what? I'm just saying Maya Bumsaw. Well, that's what you get when you pay people per signature. Yes, it looks like people have just been making up names to earn some extra dollars. Pounds, John. New Zealand didn't change to dollars until the 1960s. Ah, and now here comes Miss Shepherd, the ship, as I call her. Oh, and that is a mighty roll of paper. Quite substantial, Kent. Reminds me of me when I was hoarding toilet paper before lockdown. Lockdown hasn't happened yet, John. Again, it's 1893. That's right. Here comes the unfurl. And she's no newbie here either. She's tried to present this before. Yes, but not quite as graceful as the counter petition, but oh my goodness, that is so long. That looks to be about 270 metres. Come on, man, read a book. It's 1893. That's 295 yards. And it is still going. And I believe it has hit the wall of Parliament with the thud that will echo throughout the nation, thus cementing New Zealand as the first country in the world that gave women the right to vote, a right they should have had in the first place. Congratulations, ladies. Wait, what do we have here? It looks like there's an interference, a pitch invasion, if you will. Shameful. And that's the head of the Liquor Council, Henry Fish. And he's trying to interfere, but oh, he's clearly drunk and he's lost his way and, well, he's locked himself in a broom cupboard. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back after the break as we head down to Invercargill for the Ferret Racing Finals. That's going to be great. Kate Ship is on the $10 note. If you could be on a, one of the notes, which note would you be on? The $100 one. Really? I want to be on the $100 note too. You want to be on the $100 note too? Yeah. I'll be on the $20 because that's where the Queen is. <laughs> the $20 note is the only note that doesn't have a New Zealander on it. So you could, like Kate Shepard, petition for another New Zealander to be on the $20 note. Who would you guys like to see on the $20 note? 660. 660. What about 
someone you might have met recently. My mum. <laughs> yeah, you've probably known her quite a while. I think the reason you asked that question was for you to be on it, so... Why would you think that? Because you were pointing at yourself. Yeah. No, I've got a sore finger and I can't close my hand sometimes, so I've got to, like, let it rest. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh. I heard when she talks, people listen, even men. She must be able to cast some kind of hypnotic spell. Yeah, I heard that she wants us to talk about things. Like what? Feelings. What? And she wants us to help with the housework. No! And she wants us to take baths more than once a year. She's a monster. Well, I heard she wants to ban alcohol, and that's ridiculous, because, first of all, it's stupid and it's dumb as well, and it's really stupid, and I love you guys. What was I talking about? Yeah, I think you can probably take notice of that one, Daryl. Well, I heard. She doesn't wear a corset, and somehow her internal organs don't fall out. That's not scientifically possible. But I've heard that when she's working, her children run wild. What? Wild? Well, that was her husband's uh, same, same. You know, I heard that she has a horn in the centre of her forehead. Yes, yes, I've heard she has claws. Yeah, and scales all over her body. Yes, and fangs for eating men with. Well, I heard that she can ride a bicycle. Oh, gosh. Evening, gentlemen. <laughs> you guys think you could roll paper a long way? Yeah, maybe. Let's go find out. Guys, you all have your paper, your petition. Isn't this toilet paper? Yep, it's toilet paper. You are at New Zealand's parliament. You are going to roll out your petition. Pizza night on Fridays. Yeah! What a roll! Ooh! I want to ride my bike! <laughs> oh, 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 no. How do you like this one? <laughs> yeah, I win! Pretty good.